11 weird items celebrities were buried with. 1. George Burns. 3 cigars. Can you imagine Burns without his cigar? As the comedian once said, If I'd taken my doctor's advice and quit smoking when he advised me to, I wouldn't have lived to go to his funeral. Burns died a week after his 100th birthday. He was buried next to his wife Gracie Allen. Three of his favorite cigars were put in his breast pocket. 2. Harry Houdini. His mom's letters. Harry was devastated when his mother Cecilia died. She had supported him throughout his career. As he traveled, she'd send him letters of encouragement. Houdini wished to take them with him to the grave. He was laid on a pillow of Cecilia's letters. 3. Tony Curtis, assortment of mementos. Curtis's coffin was full of stuff. He took his driving gloves and his grandson's baby shoes. He took his dog's ashes. He took a DVD of his favorite movie. Curtis was buried in an Armani scarf, cradling a Stetson hat under his arm. 4. Arch West Doritos West started out as a traveling cheese salesman. He later became a free tole executive. When he died, his family dusted his cremation urn with Doritos. They also tossed some Dorito chips into his grave. West invented the snack in 1966. 5. Frank Sinatra Jack Daniels Old Blue Eyes was raised by a tavern owner. There was nothing he enjoyed more than whiskey. He was buried with a bottle of Jack and a pack of camels. Sinatra was also given a roll of dimes to call his friends. 6. Roald Dahl Pencils Dahl wrote many of his stories in his garden shed. He always used his favorite tool, an HB pencil. Dahl's pencil set was only part of his burial package. Other mementos included a snooker cue, red wine, chocolate, and a power saw. 7. John F. Kennedy Scrimshaw Whale Tooth JFK was laid to rest in Arlington National Cemetery. His coffin held a bronze, PD-109 Typen, letters from his wife and children and a rosary. There was also a scrimshaw whale tooth. It was part of JFK's extensive collection of scrimshaw. The tooth was engraved with a presidential seal. Jackie had given it to Jack for his last Christmas in 1962. 8. Alexander McQueen Lock of hair The designer was very close to magazine fashion director Isabella Blow. When she died in 2007, McQueen asked our milliner for a lock of her hair. He then gave the hair to a jewelry maker. The lock of hair was encased in glass and set in a ring. The milliner, Philip Tracy, put the rest of the hair in McQueen's coffin. 9. Humphrey Bogart, Gold Whistle Before Bogart married Lauren Bacall, he gave her a small whistle. It was inscribed with his famous line, If you want anything, just whistle. Sadly, Bogart died 12 years into their marriage. Bacall put the whistle into the urn with his ashes. 10. Bela Lugosi, Dracula Cape Lugosi never managed to top his performance as Dracula. Apparently, the actor didn't mind. When he died in 1956, Lugosi was buried in a Dracula cape. 11. Sandra West, Ferrari Sandra was the widow of oil tycoon, Ike West. The Texas socialite made a specific request before she died in 1977. She was to be buried in her car, with the seat slanted comfortably. West was seated in her powder blue 1964 Ferrari. She was dressed in lingerie. Her grave measured 9 feet deep, 10 feet wide, and 19 feet long. 